Well, it's Dark Eldar turn three. So at bottom of the third, right? Is that yep. where we are? Pretty much. Yeah, they came in on turn two. Okay, so basically uh, the Void Ravens, I've just moved them. They just swooped in. They're going to fire at the Paladins. You know what? Just for kicks, let's do that one first. So, um, blah, 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 blah. Implosion missiles are fun. And here's why. By the way, they cost 30 points each. So it costs 120 points just to put the missiles on these, each of them. So there's 240 points of missiles about to go off. You know, you might, you might consider only going for two, uh, because the Void Ravens can just go down, you know, like that. You really, and, that, and that's how you do it. You, I'd, I'd put, in a reasonable game, I'd put, well, this is a reasonable game. Uh, I'd put on two, and then have them come in from the edge, and then that way at least you'll guarantee to get two off. But I don't know, it's a, it's a tough call. So um, I'll show you how these work. They're a ton of fun. And um, so uh, they're 48 inches, AP2, and uh, they take a wounds test. Uh, and if they fail, it's instant death. You do get cover and invulnerable saves. So <laughs> what, what's so funny? Oh, this okay, is gonna so be... here it goes. Well, I this think is... my best shot is probably this guy. That hits three of them. And that's uh, four inches that way, so that's a miss. And then, yep. And then that's a hit, so that hits three guys. So you have to make three Ones. wounds tests, basically. And uh, no, you need a two or less. Two or less? Oh, yeah. well, that's slightly better. Okay, One guy so didn't die. two guys die hideously. And hold on. Yeah, mm -hmm. let, go ahead. Yeah. Let, let's do the Good void building. lances. So that's two misses. Okay, now the other void raven get a shot of that and uh, I'm gonna place it here oh whoa this was actually a better spot that's four so here it comes I'm gonna roll a hit and there it is so that's four second implosion missile see I didn't say hit so it scatters four inches this might actually clip a guy based on positioning and the answer is no nothing so okay. four guys so make four wounds tests three for the terminator the paladins yeah. One survives. Okay. And then, and then a three or below for the leader. Ah, he okay. makes it. Good for him. All right. Um, you shouldn't take your guys off yet. No. In fact, we should have done the implosion missiles and the dark lances. We're doing this wrong, folks. That's one hit, and that's uh, a wound. So Is how would that have worked? You would have had to have assigned it to the two closest, right? Yep. So, um, <clears throat> let's see here, how does it work? Oh no, each model would need to take one. So yeah, you did do that right. So this guy, if he has an invulnerable save, it's AP2. Okay. So what has he got? Uh, for the got leader? Something. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Uh, okay. I'll have to look it up. Go ahead and stop. Make the five up. I'm sorry, I thought yeah. all the guys had died. And he's okay. Oh, he loves it. There's two okay. Terminators left. Fanta a a paladin and, and a leader. Paladin. Fantastic, and they're, they're gonna come back and Show them what's what. All right, so let's uh, move on and go as quickly as humanly possible. So, by the way, I didn't give my leader any special weapons or anything again. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing that. So, Conquering Real Space for Beginners. What a great chapter in the Dark Eldar book. Okay, so Shard Carbine is Assault 3. So, I'm shooting at them. Oh, yeah, do I want to do this? Yeah, I do. I'll just shoot them. One hit, poisoned, no wound. Um, splinter pistol from the Drac Dracon or whatever he is. That's one wounding hit. So make okay. a save there. What kind of is it? Just a regular. Two okay. Good. Yep. He loves it. Okay, so let's go ahead and do... Oh, I didn't move close enough with these guys. Okay, so that's that. They only moved six inches. So you've got eight guys on board with splinter rifles. Two, four, six, eight. And then you have one splinter cannon. roll that separately. So, looking for threes. This is splinter weapons. Looking for fours. So, that is four wounding hits. So here comes the blaster. The blaster hits and wounds. So, that's an invulnerable save needed. So, go ahead and do that one. Okay. Uh, can I allocate the in, the one to the guy with the warding staff? The invulnerable yeah, save? That's fine. All right. So, warding save staff. Oh, and he fails. Oh, okay. No kidding. That's Did he have a two up invulnerable save? Yeah. 
Oh, that's terrible. Say. That makes me so sad. And then the four armor saves. Okay, and, and they're okay. All. Fantastic. Okay, so 12, 2, 4, 6, 7, and 8. Okay. okay, so here's for the other raider. These are the crew. Looking for three ups to hit and four ups to wound from poison. Here it comes. Whoa, look at that. Nelly, four. And then let's do the blaster. That hits and a two up and that wounds. Okay. Sounds vulnerable save. Uh, he's not good. <laughs> and a four. Oh, man, there goes another guy. All right, awesome. I'm picking away at him. Picking away at him, folks. All right, now the Venom. They, it has uh, two splinter cannons. Only way to fly with a Venom, by the way. Extra six, six shots are pretty sweet. Looking for threes. And looking for fours to wound. And that is... Boom. There you go. Five enemy hits. All, all saves. Okay. Awesome. Awesome possum. Okay, uh, that's all my shooting, and we are going to go ahead and attempt to charge here. I need okay. at least a nine, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and I make it. Holy crud snaps. That's a ten. Ten inches. Do your overwatch. Let me go ahead all and right. take the camera. Sorry for the jiggly camera work there. Alright. So, remaining side cannon. If there was any. Go ahead. Okay, number six is there. Wait, don't you, doesn't he need sixes to hit on Overwatch? Yeah. Do you have that psychic power that gives you astral sight or something no. like that? Okay, so no, no hits. No, that was no hits. And yeah. then one guy has a storm bolter. That's nothing. All right, let's move them on in, folks. Blink, blink, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do my pile and move at the same time. Okay, so um, we're. All right, anyway, here it comes. So the Archon gets five attacks, plus one for charge. And he's got nothing. He just has a close combat weapon. I can't believe I missed that. So looking for threes, because his weapon skill is a disgusting seven. And uh, strength four, toughness four is, uh, no, it's only strength three. So two wounding hits from him. So go ahead and make your saves. Looking for two ups. Oh. There it is. I'm just I'm picking away at him one at a time. Okay, so now we're to, he has initiative six with Halberd. He, right? he doesn't have the Halberd, he has a Brotherhood banner, so he doesn't. Yeah, but we're doing both. Doing both. Because it looks cool that he has it, and Halberds okay. are cool. So okay. Let's do it. So he gets three attacks from the Brotherhood banner. Okay. Two hits. And one wound. Okay. Um, so I'll take it on the Archon. Oh, he's got a clone field. Oh, but I didn't use the clone field. I'll take it on one of the Incubi. No, I'll take it on take it on the Homunculus. Awesome. Um, no, technically, we'll take it on this guy. Three up to save. Oh, no, it's nothing. It's no save. No, okay, yeah. No, no he just dies. He just, uh, yeah, I forgot to do my clone field. That's what I get for going too fast here. So the Incubi, looking for threes with weapon skill five. And they just have, oh, they have power weapons, so you'll have two up. Nice. That's it. That made Terminators flipping awesome. Okay, here we go. And that's one wounding hit. Looking for a two up. Come on. Okay. There it is. Bye. And uh, now the homunculus with four attacks. Looking for fours and looking for fives. Fours and fives. Two hits. And one wounding hit from the homunculus. And he's All right, just... so he makes it. So that is a whole lot of nothing. Well, not nothing. <laughs> well. All right, some people are never satisfied. Okay, uh, that's it. We're on the top of the. All right, John, you just uh, moved your guys a little gray bit. Knights. Move the gray knights up. Okay, so what's happening now? All right, well they're gonna try and shoot this. Got it. I'm ready. So the side cannon. Okay, nope. nothing. Because you need sixes to hit flyers, right? And the. Is that the only guy that's in range? Yeah. Only two guys, yeah. Oh, okay. And then uh, we'll go ahead and shoot with this guy. Okay. The same one. I'm ready. Another. And 
then this the guy. The commander. Commander with his awesome. psych handler. There it is. Come and on, you only need crafted. one. There it is. There. Hey, is. there's one. What's so the strength? I, strength seven? No. No, I forbid it. Okay, 11. Oh, okay, no ten. way. Yeah, you um, didn't even get a glance at it. Okay. Oh. Okay. Um, that's it for shooting, so All right, combat. off we go then. So okay. Your guy goes first. Here we go. Okay, so uh, clone field, D3 clones come out. Here it comes. That's three. All right, so three clones pop out, and they're like little illusionary guys. And uh, basically, each one of these can negate a hit on my Archon. Okay, Archon with four attacks. Here it comes. Excuse me, five attacks. Looking for threes. And looking for fives, apparently. Okay, so here it comes, two Incubi. And that's hits. And looking f oddly for fives to wound. Oh no, uh, fours to wound because it gives them plus one strength. Alright. Oh, two saves. Alright, so we are still locked in combat. Clones go away, they're no longer relevant. Okay, it's bottom of the fourth, Dark Eldar turn four. And quite frankly, uh, unless something unusual happens, a bit of a mop up. Uh, which always, you know, not as good as a tense game. Um, but uh, John refuses to surrender. God, Grey Knights are so stubborn! So, I'm gonna fly my Void Ravens off, because there's... Re oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, I'm gonna keep going straight. That's what's happening. I'm gonna blow these guys up. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, John, but you asked for this. So, there's that guy. And... Um, just uh, move our Venom, because the Venom can't, you know, really do much else. And uh, so the Scourge, go ahead and move him up here as well. No cover, why not? And uh, so, uh, the, oh yeah, the Witches. I totally forgot about the Witches last turn. So they're going to go ahead and just file right on out of the thing here. So with a curve. She ends up something like that. It's going to be a little hard to get around the edge there, but um, so a bit of a jump there, but these guys are moving less. So um, yeah, and uh, the raiders, uh, what I need to do is I need to disembark one of these guys and then move the raider off. 12, I guess. All right. Uh, go ahead and stop. All right, we're, uh, we're going to roll them here. So Void Ravens shooting at those guys. And we're going to do... Uh, I'm going to do the lances first so there's no weird allocation issues with the implosion missiles. So this one on them. Two hits. Cocked. Two wounds. And that's AP2. Yep. So two guys are toast. Okay, now let's do the implosion missiles. Not quite as good, though, because they're not crowded, so I'll just do it on this bat guy here. And that goes four inches that way. That's nothing. And then this guy, that's a hit, so that's three. So make three wounding tests. And none of them survive. All right. That takes care of that. Whoosh. Okay, this guy went uh, flat out, and... Uh, these guys were dropped off and this just moved up here for no apparent reason. Um, I don't know why I didn't figure out the Dark Lances. Dark Lance should be 36 inches. Yep, it is. So let's see if this can shoot at those guys over there. And uh, they are indeed in range. So, uh, but I moved over... No, no, they can fire, nor they can fire two weapons um, and go up to 12. Yeah. So that's a hit, and that's a wound on the front guy. So he needs an invuln or whatever it is. No. Okay. It's so not strength eight, is it? It's strength nine. Oh, oh okay. no, 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 no. No, I'm sorry. Hold on. I was thinking it's uh, strength eight. Oh, strength eight. That still works. Is it instant death? Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Okay. So uh, now the, uh, the venom. And that's uh, 12 shots. That's at your leader. Is he a named character? Ye not named, just Grand Knight Grandmaster. Okay, fantastic. We're looking for threes. And um, 
Then there's a four ups wound. And so he just needs to make two, four, five saves. And makes them all. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, shard carbine on that guy. It's 18 inch range. Let's see if I've got it. It's kind of iffy if you ask me. I'm going to say no. Nope, he's about two Not inches short. Yet. Okay, and uh, that's my turn. We're on to, oh no, we got to do assault face. So, um, oh no, yes, the witches are coming in. So here it comes. Uh, I need to roll pretty high, at least an eight, I'm imagining. And there it is, a 10. Mm. Guy, my charge rolls are insane this game. So yeah, that gets that gets us really around here. And then you've got pile in, so that ain't gonna help. Whoa, there's three guys here. And uh, they they have a pain token from the Haman Killis being in their unit. By the way, Haman Killis is a great attachment for a unit of witches for that very reason. Plus the Haman Killis have just to keep your game spicy, they have all this really bizarre war gear, like stuff people can't imagine. Uh, like one of them, it's like the dark, it summons this entity from this, it opens a rift to a pocket dimension where there's something horrible in there, you know, it's been trapped, so it tries to like grab people in, but it does a strength 10 hit on this. Boom. So with the new, you know, vehicle things, you can really arrange that quite nicely. Strength 10 hit is nothing to nothing to scoff at. So, but AP nothing. So anyway, uh, all right, let's move on. Um, I've got initiative seven, the witches have six. So uh, the Archon goes first. He has five attacks base, four base plus one for extra weapon. Looking for threes and looking for fives to wound. And so there's one wounding hit. Gotta get everything I can. And he's good. All right, fantastic. Um, now we're at initiative step six, so go ahead and do yours. You've got to show. You've got to show. Yes. All right. Okay, so that's um, one hit. Yeah. Yeah, all my guys are at least weapon skill four. And, and three. depending on who you're attacking, what are you attacking? Uh, whatever I can kill at this point. <laughs> okay, well, I do one of these guys because he's already gone. So yeah. this one of these dies. An incubi dies. All right. Okay, great. So initiative step pile in for the witches. Well, this is actually six, so they couldn't move into his spot. They'd just be around like this. Uh, okay, so I did, for my witches, I did get a shard net and impaler, but since it's not in base contact, that doesn't take away attacks. So um, each witch has two attacks. I never rolled for combat drugs, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do that right now, if you don't mind. Uh, go ahead and stop. Okay, combat drugs, which I should have rolled at the beginning, is a two, that's serpentine. All affected units gain plus one weapon skill. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay, so that brings our weapon skill from four to five. So they have one base, two extra weapon, three for a charge, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six witches. And uh, so that's 18, six, eight, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16, 18. Okay, here it comes. Here comes the witches. Uh, they are looking for threes. Your weapon skill four, right? Yep. Okay, fantastic. Boy, that made that made approximately one little bit of difference. Okay, and uh, my strength is only three, so I'm looking for fives to win. And uh, yeah, I gave them haywire. Today, so that's good. All right, make one, two, three, four, five saves. Awesome! Here, let me take the camera there. Okay, here it comes. Oh, he makes it! Okay, the Incubi, come on Incubi, do the deed, man. Do the deed, that's two hits. And uh, that is, no wounds! Okay, Homunculus, Homunculus has to do it. Uh, he has three wounds, plus one on the charge. Uh, he is uh, strength four? No. Strength three. Okay, looking for fours and looking for fives. One wounding hit. Does the homunculus kill him? Does he jab him with a needle or something? Nope. Can't do it. Just can't kill that guy. All right, here we go. All right, it's your turn. Top of the fifth. All right, uh, All right I'm ready, John. Let's do it. Side cannon from the leader into this. Okay. Uh, the raider. raider. Uh, 
Um, he oh, yeah, has yeah. master crafted weapon. Okay, awesome. We he's roll weapon one. skill six. Converts him. And he's okay. weapon skill six, so I believe those are all his. Ballistic skill six. Ballistic skill six, yep. yes. Good. Ten. Um, Ten's my armor. Okay. The strength of your weapon is what? Seven. Seven. So you're looking for three. What? Okay. One penetrating, So two one glance. glancing hits. Okay, great. Okay, the penetrating hit. Oh, I actually, I would roll my save oh, yeah. at this point. Okay, so penetrating hit. Uh, yep, yeah, and that was Good. flat out. And then uh, the other one also oh. saves. Sorry. Okay. All right. And this combat. Okay. That's it for. Oh, that's right. All that's left is that guy and the leader, there go. right? Yep. Okay, here it comes. Um, the uh, Archon. Archon with five attacks, looking for threes and looking for fives. Fives to wound. One wounding hit. Here we go. Eventually, he's got to roll a one. Eventually, a three, but not today. Okay, witches are going to pile in. And the. Um, yeah, that's all. Well, this guy can't jump all the way around. This guy can probably get in. Okay, sorry folks, you didn't get to see the action. I drifted a little bit there. And, uh, okay, hold on. Okay, go ahead and do your attacks then. Shardnet makes him go down by one attack. So he's at two. Two. Okay, looking for threes to wound. Okay. One. Okay, which unit are you attacking? Uh, let's attack You should other. do the incubi. Yeah. And the, oh, I didn't roll my clone fields. Why did I not do that? Ah, poor playing. Okay, so this guy dies. That's terrible. I could have been looking a lot better if I had only paid attention. All right, witches at initiative step six, looking for uh, threes and looking for, whoa, runaway, and looking for fives. Can the witches do it? They can. Three. Three saves. There oh, it is. There Finally. Oh, that guy wouldn't go down. All right, and uh, we're going to consolidate one inch. Um, it is my turn next, right? Yep. So there we go. And that'll be bottom of the fifth, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Right? Okay. Uh, let's roll reserves for the scourges, which I forgot to do. Actually, I think they come in automatically yeah. now. Okay, so they destroyed this enemy unit, and there's one unit for the Archon, and then the witches form another unit. So, uh, so I, they don't each get a pain token, though. It's ran they, it only generates one pain token per enemy destroyed. So it's uh, one through three for the witches, four up for the Archon. The witches get it. And uh, I'm going to join the Archon to the witches, and we're on to my movement phase, bottom of the fifth. Hey. Okay, we're at to bottom of the fifth. Uh, I've done all my movement. Well, not quite all. I'm gonna move this raider like that. And uh, basically, there's only one model surviving, so I'm just gonna pour a ridiculous amount of fire. Um, and in fact, it's still my movement phase, so I am going to uh, see if I got 24 inches here. Mm, yep, I can actually get a couple guys out just for good measure and still take this objective. So we'll just get two guys out strand them right on in. Okay, so uh, away we go with all of the shooting on the one guy, and we'll see if he can live. He's got an Iron Halo and Terminator armor, right? Yep, and a Nemesis Force okay, sword. Great. So let's do um, the, oh wow, look at that. That's a um, Splinter Cannon and a regular thing. They hit and wound on the same, so four ups to wound. Uh, make two saves. So let's start, start off the fun with two saves. Okay, and there it is. Okay, the uh, witches are going to run, and they run three inches, which, by the way, will get them into range of this objective. Lovely. Yep, that's right. Good. Rar, the Archons with them, combining up their pain tokens to three for the unit. And, uh, all right, let's do Dark Lance on him. And that's a hit, and that's a wound. And that's AP2, so looking for a four. Yep. He makes it. Uh, just for kicks, let's do the Dark Lance here. Um, oh, and there's a bunch of guys on there still. So that's a hit, and that's a wound. And that's uh, no save. So is that instant death then? No, he's got, his Nemesis Force Sword brings his thing down to 3+, plus invulnerable save. Oh, it does? Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. All right, here we go, trying to kill that one guy. So uh, you'll get, if he survives all this shooting, by the way, he'll get a moral victory. <laughs> It'll be that thing where the field appears around just from all these things. 
So uh, here we go. This is within 12 inches. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 shots. This is, oh, let's just do the splinter cannon in there. And uh, here we go. Looking for threes and looking for fours. It's going to be a whole lot of saves here. And um, so to wound is uh, five wounding hits. Hold on, blaster is a hit and a wound. All right, so the blaster first since it's the invulnerable. Three up, this is what we're looking for. Okay, he loves four. it with a four, awesome. And then the other five. He's like, I love the smell of blasters in the morning. Oh, we oh there's one. one. Oh, did you just take a wound? I did. Holy crud snacks, I'm ready. Here you Got go. Got two left. All right, and um, all right, Venom, eight, 10, 12, that's right. Yep. Okay. Looking for threes and looking for fours. All right. That's uh, four wounding hits. And he's all good. Okay. Shard carbine on the score. By the way, I didn't even deep strike my score just <laughs> Who does that? Who just leaves this unit off? Uh, did you make all those? Yeah. I forbid you. Will you knock it off, please? <laughs> Okay, that's those many hits, and uh, two, one wounding hit. By the way, you are going to survive this. Oh, <laughs> man, that's awesome. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's see if the game ends. I think uh, this is it. We're looking for a one or a two for game end. No, it goes on to six turns, so it's your turn. All right, shortest turn ever right here. Here it goes. He's moving up. He wants to take out the witches. Did you kill my commander? That is a moral victory. Side cannon. Reroll the miss. Right. Uh, Reroll ones, right? Ones. Okay. But that's the only Just miss. Just didn't know because yeah. uh, that that has yeah. changed. Okay. And so toughness is three. That's three all I got. So three guys die. Kuh. 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 All right, leaving mm -hmm. three witches alive. I do need to make a morale check. So here it comes. They make it with an eight. They love it. Okay, what's next? Um, I think I'm actually going to assault the skipper. The skimmer. The skipper? The skipper. Uh, well, you didn't shoot at it. Oh, that's right. So you so have I'll to. I'll assault these guys. Okay, I'm ready. You need it like a ten, right? Yeah, I need a twelve. Okay. But that's not. Close that's enough. nothing. Yep. Okay. Okay. So, so is the, that it? The lowest number, right? No, that's yeah. a Warhammer Fantasy. Uh, In 40k. Yeah, you play a lot of fantasy too, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, great. Both. Oh, by the way, folks, John's the newest addition to our team. Oh, yeah. Uh, talk about what you do here. I help run the trade stock program okay. with Robbie. I do the intake of the inventory, I get it all sorted out, and then I take the pictures and then I hand pass it off to the other guys to make sure they get up online. That's awesome. Thanks. Okay, deep striking the scourges. They're coming in right there. And three inches this way, awesome. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, we're about to run out of time and batteries, so let's uh, start with Dark Lances, because they're instant kill. I'll just do both at the same time. Two hits, two wounds, make two invulnerable saves. Okay, no, there it is. It's gone. So he's dead. All right, so that's tabled. I've got 90 seconds to talk about it. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are here to trade in your armies. Get you set up with your new army and commission a custom army. We're ready to go. We have numerous ways to contact us, and we have a full-time staff. They're all incredibly amazing. Now, in terms of this, this army uh, has a lot of finesse to it. It has a lot of different options. It can have a ton of shooting. It'd be absolutely vicious, very hard to deal with. My thing is move the raiders up flat out turn one and reposition. Don't try and play the shooting game, and now your turn. Okay, go. Uh, for the Grey Knights, this game, they didn't do so well. Uh, I would say that you need, I need to have more shooting in this army and have focused my army into one spot, like, to yeah. counter Yeah, because you knew I was going to outflank, yeah. or not I outflank, had, uh, overload. Me. I had about five, 600 points facing down 2,000, basically, which just didn't go well. Right. Or, that was Thanks. You're a great sport, John. And there's the shake. Uh, folks, thanks for tuning in.